say as a sort of final um, final use case here, let's say that we wanted to potentially have a uh, sentence here. Um, let's say right here in furtherance of and not in limitation of the powers conferred by the laws of the state of California. Let's say we wanted this whole sentence to be dependent on the state that we selected. So maybe, uh, you know, for the Delaware use case, we want this whole sentence. Maybe for California, we want, you know, a modified version of it. And maybe for New York, we don't want it at all. The way to do that is with a conditional field. So what we're going to do is create a new field and let's call this conditional sentence for now. And for the type, we're going to choose conditional. And conditionals are meant to be really low barrier, ent barrier to entry ways to represent conditional logic such that you can swap out different values or clauses or whatever, what have you into various parts of the document. So when we open it up, you're gonna see this blue box here. This blue box is a self-contained condition with an if section and a then section. We can have as many of these blue boxes as we want. So if I click on add a condition here, it's gonna add another one for me. Again, we can have as many of these as we want and the way that it gets evaluated is top down, right? So it'll first check this condition. If that one fails, it will then check this one. If that one also fails, it will move down to this if conditions are not met section, which allows us to either exclude the field entirely or set a default value. So what we wanna do is say, okay, if, and then we get a drop down with a list of all the fields that we've previously created. So I'm gonna choose company state. So I'll say if company state, and then I've got the option to say equals, does not equal, uh, greater than, et cetera. We'll leave it as equals for now. And I'll say if company state equals, and then we could say Delaware, then we would like to have uh, this conditional sentence take on some value. So in that case, I'm actually just going to select that sentence, copy it and paste it in here. Now, one quick thing I wanna do though is the, uh, the state in here, right? State of California or Delaware, whatever it is. I want this to be dynamic. I want this to pull in whatever value the company state actually has. So if I delete that and click on this button over on the right, this is going to give me a list of all of one, the clauses that I've created. So this is actually how you would reference and use clauses. And two, all of the fields that I've previously created. So here's our company state. If I click on company state, it's gonna insert a placeholder for me directly into that sentence. So now whatever the company state is, it's gonna get automatically pulled into the sentence like that. Now let's do the same thing where we say, if the company state equals California, then I'm gonna paste the same thing, but maybe I would like to, um, I would like to remove, uh, let's say repeal. Let's say I just want to have it say amend, for example. Now, you can also see that we still have that company state placeholder in here. We could obviously set this to be whatever we wanted it to be. Um, additionally, we could also make this uh, rich text if we wanted to. So there's a little drop down over here where we could make it rich text, single line text, which is what it is now, or an input, which is a really more advanced feature that we will cover during our advanced training if you attend that. Um, so basically what we've set up is a, a conditional that says, if the company state is Delaware, let's insert this sentence. If the company state is California, insert this sentence. And if it's neither, then let's remove that sentence entirely. So if we click save here, down at the bottom is gonna be our conditional sentence. Again, I just wanna move it up to the next to the other so we can see them all together. And now you might guess we wanna insert this field. We wanna insert this sentence. So what I'm gonna do is just make my selection here. Let's just delete it. And then I'm gonna give myself, let's see, a little bit of space and I'm gonna click on that plus button and you should see that sentence get inserted as well as the state get pulled in where that state placeholder was. Now, if we choose Delaware, I think the only difference here is one word and click populate, this conditional sentence is now adjusted because we've selected Delaware and it should insert uh, itself into it, the new value into this field here, um, wherever we inserted that sentence. And this should, this will say state of Delaware. And I think the thing that we added was amend or, um, replace or something like that. So as it's doing its thinking and we're waiting, basically what we've done is set up a dropdown with a couple of options that dictates the value of this conditional sentence, which is then swapping this in or out, right? So you can now see here's Delaware, amend or repeal. And then finally, let's just see what happens if we select New York, this becomes uh, opaque, which means that it's being ignored or excluded. 
I'll go ahead and click populate and you should see this sentence get removed entirely. So the exclusion uh, feature is really nice for, you know, let's say we wanted to add or exclude all of Article 5, for example, in, in different use cases, or even we wanted to add an entire page or remove an entire page, depending on some set of criteria we set up.